Hello, welcome to this wonderful collaboration. This is your artsy friend Martha. This is a channel I love to paint. I'm glad you're here. This collaboration is full of love and art for you because you matter. The participants are as follow. Please watch the playlist at the end of this video. If you can see in the information box below, there will be channel by channel also a list of all the participants. And in this video, we're going to be working on a book tab or a bookmark or simply a paper angel decoration, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to use it is made by you. Right now, I know everybody is stuck at home. Everybody is kind of stressed or too stressed. And nobody, nobody is in their regular schedules. Kids are running wild <laughs> or maybe the children are far away. The thing is, you matter, your time, your efforts matter. If you're stressed, if you're sad, if you're lonely or too overcrowded, please take a minute or a few minutes, take a deep breath and dedicate a time for you to do your craft. I know we cannot right now go to our favorite craft store or art supply place. We just have to do with whatever we can and this Long introduction is just to tell you we can use everything we have to make art. I'm going to have a bunch of leftover little pieces and bits of different things and different projects. And this over here is perfect for not having an excuse not to do a little bit of art. And if you make a bunch of them, you can hang them all around your wall, around your books, <laughs> around, I don't know, a tree whatever you want that will make you smile because we all need to smile at least 500 times a day lately and so let's get to the project for this mixed media project we're going to be using any type of washi tape any type of collage paper that we might have handy any type of stamping or templates that we might have around texture paper tea bags if you collect them, more type of paper, even grocery bags type of paper. And if you're into jelly prints and you don't know what to do with your jelly prints, this is a perfect time to use them. Even the weirdest, whatever black colors that you used is going to be perfect for this size of project. And it can be done with any hair color or any type of body color color and paper in combinations and whatever you want to put of the color of the hair and on whatever thing on top of her head is completely personalized open to whatever you want to do. If you have a sketchbook you can use the paper for that or any other type of a little thick uh, thicker paper than your regular print paper but if you only have right now printer paper that's perfectly fine you just put a little bit more collaged on top and you will be perfectly fine. The important thing is that you spend some time with yourself for yourself, right? The size will depend on how many you want to make for page. If you only want to make one, do it whatever size you want. And if not, you can just take in consideration that maybe you want to fold it like this so you can have three or two or four or, you know, as many as you want to fit in a page. For now, I am going to be following this same exact size, which is about an inch and a half by, I don't have my ruler nearby, but let's say that is five, more or less. This is not an exact science. In fact, it's not a science at all. So, I will make her with a crown because I think right now we all need a crown and be the queens of our table, if nothing else. <laughs> and it can be any shiny paper. I don't know if you can catch the glittery part of this. This is interference ink. If you don't have it, don't even bother. You might have glitter or you simply just put some shiny paper, maybe from, I don't know, Christmas decorations, <laughs> I don't know, right now we're not even going to care where the paper comes from as long as we can just have fun. 
I'm going to go ahead and trim this paper. The silhouette of the hair will depend completely on what type of hair you want to give her. If you want bushy big hair or if you want short pixie haircut. All right. So I have this. I'm going to make her crown kind of sitting lower in the hair just to have a little bit more paper around to collage. Her face is going to be a circle or an oval and I'm going to give her this kind of part in the middle of the hair. Then she's going to have a little bit of her neck showing, maybe a little bigger so we can paint more. And from here we're going to have hair uh, outfit. We're going to do this shape, kind of round, simple. If you want to have the hair like on this one, then it doesn't matter like you put a square of paper because you're going to paint with the hair color over on this other part of collaged paper. For this one, let's say that we're going to give her a roundish shape over here. So this is going to be hair and the rest is going to be the outfit. Mm, we're going to pick maybe this orange right here. Yeah. So we just need to make sure that the circle that we want to cut over here is going to be in the center where we want it and trace on the other side the silhouette of the bookmark or fairy or angel or whatever you're going to decide to make around the shape of your lady here. Then we cut. If you are enjoying this video and love painting, subscribe and click on the bell to get notified of all the new videos. Once we have this, we're going to have the chance to kind of round the shape like this, all shiny. Then the wings, we're going to go with the same paper and hmm, we're going to just select I like this that has the marks of the plastic wrap and I think I can go this other way because this seems to be going up we're going to trim the wings from the front so we know exactly where we're getting and then we cut them. Like this. And now for the hair and for the face, I think for the crown I'm going to get this paper because it's just a little piece of paper and it has beautiful colors and the pattern. For the face, I'm just getting some middle of the ground beige and if you want to darken it or lighten it you use either color to you know adjust to your needs and the hair I think I'm going to give her this type of purple hair I think you'll go nice the face is going to be super simple we're not going to get fancy here if you have never made a face don't even be afraid just make her with her eyes closed And a nose that is just like a soft letter L or a little J, depending on what size you want to make the face. And a smile. If you know how to make faces, then you can go any way with any style that you might want. There's nothing that will stop us from going in the exact design and style that we want okay so for this I'm going to do exactly the same 
to trace what part of the pattern I want to catch, which I think I want this over here with the as many of the white little or yellow little pattern over here as I can catch. And I'm going to just trace it, making sure that I am in the part that I put in here and in the back. Now that I have all the parts cut, I'm going to glue them or collage them to the main paper. And for this, you can use the any type of glue that you might have. Any type is fine. I happen to have matte medium, which is what I use a lot of the time. But if you have a tube of glue or any other glue, it's going to be perfect. I'm going to start by gluing everything and then I will go and paint whatever is needed in her little face. It can be painted beforehand or it can be glued beforehand. And if you are having fun, click the like button, the thumbs up. Also, I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. If you haven't visited this channel before, I hope you find the reason to subscribe and enjoy all the free playlists that I have for beginners and anybody that likes either mixed media, art journaling or painting faces. Okay, this is getting pretty well. And um, I'm going to see where I want this right here. For now, just to go fast, I'm going to attach them with wa uh, washi tape, but any type of glue will be fine. And if you want to make the crown with washi tape, it's also perfectly fine because it's like perfect with all the cute designs that they have. Okay, so now we are going to start with the face color. I'm going to put just a little bit close to the medium so we can kind of go around. If you put medium, it's going to be a little bit more transparent so you can see your pencil lines, but if you don't want to, it's perfectly fine. This is super easy. It's for total beginners. It can be for any occasion of the year. And now the hair. I'm going to put that paper in the back so I don't stain the wings because I don't really want them with purple on the wings. So if you want to paint first and then collage everything, that wouldn't be such a bad idea. And as I said that, I wanted to stain the other one. Oh well, no stress at all. Now, if you have a marker, like a Macron or any other type of marker, maybe you have a pit pen or maybe simply, you know, pencil, whatever you have handy and making sure that this is dry, we make the rest of the lines of the face again. The eyelashes to indicate that the eyes are closed you go and make them aiming to the outside towards the ears on each eye her nose is simple like this the lips are also like this I made a little curve just like this I'm going to assume that for whatever reason I found myself with no other colors so I'm going to put the same color of the lips, I mean of the hair on the lips, but more diluted and just like barely there. What do you think? Super easy to do, super cute, and it will bring a smile to pretty much anybody that sees it. You can make a little hole over here and hang them in a string. The sky is the limit. 
Now that you finished watching this, I want you to check on this playlist. Don't forget that. And if you are new to this channel, I hope you find some reason to subscribe, like, and share.